Something big is happening in the bug bounty world today, and we really need to address it and talk about it because it is getting absolutely horrendous. In this particular case, Curl has been a primary target for many of the most ridiculous reports of bugs I've ever seen, and we really need to talk about it and review some of them. So let's get going with today's video. And by the way, if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course, which is down in the description box below, which will teach you everything to avoid such behavior like I'm about to show you in today's video. Let's get going now. Okay, so we first things first have to meet a little bit of a background story behind it. I've already covered some of this on my channel, and Daniel Stamberg is one of the curl developers, and he has an amazing record online. And I found his blog where he calls it a death by a thousand slops. And looking at the activity and only selecting curl as the program, we can see many disclosed reports, or at least 25 of them, last 25 reports, two, one, two, three, were informative. So 22 of the reports were absolutely ridiculous, and some were even closed as spam. So we're going to be taking a look at some of them. Bear in mind that these are closed a day ago, nine days ago, 10 days ago, 13 days ago. So there's been a lot of AI reports. So let's just get going to see what even is going on here. The first report that we're going to be taking a look at is very, and I mean very ridiculous in my opinion, and it's just been copy and paste from the AI output. And it's just a vulnerability which says that the tool debug CB function can write large amounts of debug data to a log file. And then the person just basically gives us some code, which is all right. I, I don't even know how this correlates to CURL, honestly. So you can see that this is very much hallucinating and I doubt that it's even using CRL anywhere in the code. And this is apparently the proof of concept. And this is an unlimited data server setup. So the vulnerability here is that you have to basically set up a big server like this, for example. But as you can see, you're kind of accessing a file on that server. And then you have to add this uh, dash dash trace to basically have an output that logs. So you must do this deliberately when you're doing on a website to give you a log output. And as you can see, you can observe now that the output.log rapidly is increasing in size as the server continuously streams data to and CRL or curl logs every bit of it. Uh, and it called and it says that this is a DOS or disk space exhaustion. Mm -hmm. And it also has a how to fix, which I've never seen in my life that somebody puts this in a report. I think it's a developer's team to figure that out. And if they want to ask you, hey, can you verify this? They will, but it's not really your duty to do it. And one of the curl staff says, yes, it's true that you can download large amounts of data and to the disk, which will basically take all, a lot of disk space. But where is the security angle? which is a good question because the debug logs aren't intended for use in production systems. So basically you have to kind of deliberately use this dash dash trace thing and give it an output file. And even if you want to do that, you must understand that there is a enough sufficient space to hold all of the resources which might come from this task. And apparently the issue of DOS via resource usage is already covered in documentation under libcurlsecurity.md. And here comes the badger. He says, considered not to be a security issue, I presume AI was used somehow to write this text, which it is. And then he asks the person who reported, please, can you explain us the reasoning behind the submission? How do you find it? How do you come to the conclusion that this is a security vulnerability? And then no given answer was provided. And they feel forced to conclude this as yet another stupid AI generated lie, which a human just forwarded to us without filtering or applied thought process. Abuse is the term. I absolutely agree, Badger. And this is closed as spam with an AI slop label. Per project policy for transparency, we want all reports disclosed and made public. And he also gives a nice little explanation and why this was disclosed in as spam. So yeah, very odd. And given the fact that this has just been non-stop bombarding with them. So let's just take a look at a few more. This one is cl closed as not applicable instead of spam. And this one is a wildest one honestly this one is a very wild but since it's just text we can probably copy this all and give it to the checker ai to see whether this all was written by ai so here's the detector let's paste all of it let's click detect ai to see if this was that maybe written by a human wow it was 100 percent human written but i think you can spoof this because i might cover it on my channel how you can spoof these checkers but it still seems to me that this is a waste of time and possibly written by ai okay so i'm not really going to read all of this 
you can pause the video or maybe check it out in the description to read it because it's going to be so long. I'll just cover some brief things about it. Like, it's very weird the fact that the person uses disaster eventually, very eventually, unlike our abstract monkey friends, which is not something a human would say. It's basically AI hallucinating on top of an AI trying to hallucinate too. So this is an AI hallucinating and another AI trying to the AI this text hallucinating too. Like within your architecture, it is surprisingly simple. Any vector that achieves sufficient privileges could couple an eternal register of combinations to the relevant framework. Why even is this dude? And Badger comes in and says, I see no specific problem mentioned question mark and then curls crls curl staff whatever you call it says the ah, hacker one you listening this is an ob this is obviously and i don't even know what that word is i'm just going to call it horrendous report and complete waste of time not a security problem as per our policy again they have to make it public honestly this one's probably going to have to be closed as pam i don't know why they clause it as not applicable but sure whatever so this just shows how stupid and how bad this curl crl situation really is because they just keep on coming like look last 25 reports three of them were informative because they probably could have been could have been a vulnerability and on the second page there is one two uh hold on one seven on the on another 25 so in the last 50 reports we only had 10 which were informative and out of the 40 was bad and it was all within a month like how insane this is so let's take a look at another one which was closed as spam again i'm not really gonna take a look at the report because it's some some bs but i want to take a look at the badger how he basically fights this <laughs> my man we just said ai slop reported as abuse banned from the project which you know as you should so Hopefully this will be resolved and HackerOne will take action against this because it's getting very out of hand and people really need to understand how bad this really is. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully you learned something from today. Don't use AI if you're going to write a report, at least if you if you know that the issue doesn't exist. If you know that there is a vulnerability, you can kind of use it, but don't overuse it because it's just going to be closed as spam. You're not going to be taken seriously, really, because it's very obvious to see what's what something is written with AI, what isn't. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace. Hello.